My name is Vahid Chitsos, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for taking this time and being here. Go ahead and introduce yourself for everybody. Let us know where you're tuning in from. So my name is Alton Jagas, Mr. Motivate Your Growth. I'm tuning in from Savannah, Georgia. All right, so uh, hello to everybody. Hello to everybody out there. God bless you all. Awesome, awesome. So listen, um, I got. I mean, I've been watching your Instagram page for a minute, and you got so many videos. I didn't even know which one to watch. So I might need to take a half day to just watch and catch up with all your videos. So talk to me about success principles. What do you think we need to do? Where do where do usually people start, and why motivation? Why do we need motivation? You need motivation because you're gonna go into a system where you're gonna go into, uh, to pay, through pain in your life. So you have to you have to understand. Don't dwell in the pain because the pain is there to help you grow. So you have to look at it different. If you look at it different, you will succeed. But if you look at it and you dwell in it as it's something to bring you down, you will fail. So you got to look at your pain as success and not as your not as your dead end. You understand? I understand. So how did you get into that motivation part? Uh, what well, what was the inspiration for you to get into that? I'll tell you this. When I was a kid, right? So I I'm not gonna say oh. We've, there's plenty of people that's been poor. I'm not going to give you the poor story, all right? But when I was a kid, all right, I was less fortunate. But what I did was the kids in my community, as a kid, when I was about 12 years old, I used to take them out in the field, and I would teach them how to play football, things like that. So I got introduced into motivating kids when I was a child. So early, later on, I ended up falling in love with the sport of football, all right? So I fall in love with the sport of football. I played high school football four years. I went to college, played football, and then I left college. And I don't, don't get me wrong. I went through problems. I left college, and I joined the military. So when I joined the military, that's when it started to groom me as a man. So it started to make me believe that I could become anything I want to become. So I wanted to share my story once I got out of the military because now I am a director at the Boys and Girls Club, and I am a high school football coach at a high school. That is awesome. Listen, my, my football career was about – I want to say 10 minutes long, uh, somebody knocked me out, and then I got up, and I decided it was a barbaric sport, and I was not going to put my body through that. So I never touched football. I understand how the game is played, but I just don't want to be tackled when I don't hold the ball in my hand. So I just like to be left alone. So I, I just uh, – that was not – but thank you so much for your service. So talk to me. Why do we need motivation, and where do individuals should go for their daily motivation? Well, honestly, I mean, motivation is around you. Uh, it's around you. If you if you look, if you look, well, like I, I'll say, okay, you got a bottle of water, right? A bottle of uh, dirty water, okay? And you take a bottle of clean water, and you run that bottle of clean water through that dirty water for a long period of time. What do you think is going to happen to the dirty water? It's going to turn to clean water. The same thing with your thoughts. So if you use those thought patterns, you listen, let me re replace my thoughts, my old thoughts, with some positive thoughts. And let me change my ritual. Let me show you how easy you can change your life by just doing that alone. That is crazy. That's a good analogy. I, I, I agree with that. So here's my question. A lot of people say motivation wears off, but you need to be inspired because inspiration keeps going for longer. What's the difference, in your opinion, between motivation and inspiration? Well, motivation, motivation is more, I would say, more self. More, it's more self. When you say inspiration, inspiration is maybe something or someone gives you inspiration. You may see something. You may, you, there may be a person that does something that you like. Or that's inspiration. I want to be that person. I want to strive and, and be successful in life. But with motivation, motivation is something different. That's self. That's say driven. You, you're driven. You want to grind. You want to be successful. But that's self-driven, being motivated. I agree with that. So as far as the books and materials and content, what is your recommendation for entrepreneurs? Or let's just say I'm a, I'm a high school football player. How many hours, how many minutes, what should be my ritual as me uh, doing self-development. What are some of the methods that you put in place for those kids to be successful, not just right there, just for long term? Well, many times, you know, in football, you're going, we're going to make mistakes. 
life is the game of life. They teach you the game of life. We get knocked down. In football, you get knocked down. You get knocked down. You get injured. Those are roadblocks in your life. When you become an adult, those are also roadblocks in your life. So you're going to go through those roadblocks, but what are you going to do? Are you going to lay down? You're going to give up? Or are you going to get through and overcome? Because therefore in life, you have to understand what you're going through. You can't, you can't just – you can't go over a speed bump and get stuck and say, you know what? I'm done. This isn't my life. I'm, I'm sorry. I give up. No, you can't do that. You have to go through things in life, get an understanding so you become a better asset to the world, a better asset to your community. So here's my question. Typically speaking, when you have the students and you're, you're teaching them and, and you're putting them through the, 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 the process of the game, how much of that process will be carried over in their lives down the line? Do they usually take it with themselves? Does it stay with them? Or is it just for the period of maybe one or two years that they're part of the football team, they only are able to utilize techniques? I mean, honestly, like I told you, football is a game of life. So everything that you've learned in football, it's going to take you to your adult life. It's going to take that in from high school. Even if you're going to play pro sports, you're going to learn to become a man, not only to become a man, you're going to learn to become a respectful, respectful individual with goals. You're going to learn to become that because that's what it teaches. Like I was telling you, you know, you're going to fall down. You're going to make mistakes in life. We all make mistakes in life. And it all teaches you that. No one's The only way you can become better is to become better. That's it. I agree with that 100%. Here's my other question, changing the subject. What were the two most important things that you learned from your experience in the military? What were those two things? <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay committed and stay disciplined. <laughs> I guess discipline is kind of standard that they'll, 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 they'll just – I think it's forced upon you and you learn and it becomes a behavior. But – does that discipline carry over? Like, do you have the same discipline that you had in the military, or do people change and they go back to being normal? Well, see, the thing, when you, in the military, you know, they, it, the, the discipline is forced upon you. Now, it becomes a ritual to you because you, you're doing it every day. It becomes a ritual. You know, I believe after 21 days, it becomes a habit. So when I say a ritual, it's something you're going to do every day. All right, discipline is, is something basically like understanding. I mean, understanding brings discipline. Am I correct? Understanding correct. Brings, so the military taught me the discipline. So when I got the understanding by going through the military and understanding what discipline is, now I carry this on in my life. I understand what it takes to be disciplined. So I'm going to continue to be disciplined. My last question for you, I know you're a busy man. If somebody has, has not read the book, Thinking Grow Rich, or they're not utilizing all the materials and the wisdom that's out there, what is your recommendation as a coach? Why should they read materials and listen to positive YouTube videos, podcasts? Why should they consume those materials? How is that going to have an effect in their lives? Well, honestly, it's important, it's important to, to, to honestly – maintain a positive attitude because the moment you doubt yourself on anything in your life, I don't care what that may be. The moment you doubt yourself, you fail because you put in a negative thought and your your mind and your body and your reality is going to grow off of that negative thought. So you have to keep a positive mindset. You listen to motivational tapes, go on YouTube and search motivational. Uh, I can tell you Zig Ziglar, uh, uh, Les Brown, uh, uh, Miles Monroe, People like that, go look at those videos and those type of people, and they can help you overcome your fears, your anxiety, things like that, and help you understand, like, I've been through this too. You can get through it. You can be I love, it. I love it. Thank you so much for taking this time and being here, and thank you so much for your service. I appreciate you taking this busy time and being with us. I'm looking forward to collaborating with you a lot more on different topics. Thank you so much. All right. Have a blessed day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.